I'm sure we've all had to find some interesting ways to get our boat off the trailer and onto the hard to do some regular maintenance, but this one probably tops the cake for me. Welcome back guys, and it is this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. As winter is coming to an end here in the Northern Hemisphere, many of us are ready to get out on the water. We just can't wait, kind of like these guys here. They didn't care that there was still ice on the water. They're getting out there and they're going to create their own icebreaker with their fishing boat anyway. These guys are getting out there and getting their fish caught no matter what. Power to these guys. I still don't think I'd be out here trying to do this on my boat, but you know what? To each their own. I do need to thank Adam Coolidge over on Facebook as he sent both these first clips in. Our next boaters this week, well, this is going to be an extreme boat launch. Even though these things aren't quite boats, I'm not even going to call this boneheaded, but this is just incredible to watch. I can't believe these machines at this weight can sit here and do this, launch from these heights, they dive completely underwater, and of course they've got the correct buoyancy ratio to bring them back up. This video was sent in from John Booth over on Facebook as well, but even look at the military guys here. Every one of them's got their camera up, so even they think this is incredible, so I'm not the only one out there that's just kind of mesmerized by this. Our next boater this week is going to remind us to always follow a checklist when you're launching and retrieving your boat. I'm not sure if these guys have forgotten the drain plug, if they've left their toe straps on the back of the boat bringing it underwater, but they've definitely done something wrong here and that's for sure. These guys are trying to retrieve this boat, but as you can tell the whole stern is under the water. These guys right here are going to try and get on this vessel. You're going to see this gentleman coming up here in just a few moments in a blue jacket. He's going to try and go from the dock over to the boat. And you know, he might have just a little bit of an accident, which is not uncommon when people are trying to do stuff like this. Whatever you guys do, make sure you always follow a checklist when you launch and retrieve. Our next boat of this week is going to show us what it's like to have some horsepower down at the ramp. Well, not quite the horsepower we're typically thinking about. I guess these guys, the Amish, still got to get it done some way. But I'll tell you what, his skills right here are pretty impressive. I mean, this is better than most people I see with an actual truck. Now, he probably has a little better maneuverability with this horsepower, but this is still kind of funny to watch. I mean, these guys just have perfect maneuverability down at the ramp with these horses, and they're going to go down there and get it done any way they can, whether they've got a truck or not. Both the videos we just watched were sent in by Caden Singer over on Instagram and Don Finlayson on Facebook. Thanks for the send. Our next boat is going to show us that wonderful experience of a bar crossing, and this boat is a 63-foot Bertram, so this is actually a large vessel. Sometimes from the angles that this is shot at, it might not look that big, but this is a big boat getting its tail kicked coming through this bar crossing. Speaking of bar crossings, if you guys haven't yet, be sure to check out our second channel called Boats vs. Hallover. I'll leave a link to one of the videos up here on the top of the screen as well. As you can tell in this boat right here, though, it is having a difficult time. This is down in Australia, and they've even lost something here at the end. I can't tell if it's a person, a life raft, or exactly what's falling off the boat, but I'll tell you what. But one thing we do know is they are taking an absolute pounding trying to get across this bar. This may be one of those days I may have chose to stay in. Thanks for sending this video over on Facebook, Norman Ballard. Guys, if you ever see anything crazy happening on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know, and maybe you'll see your videos over here as well. And if you haven't already, drop an anchor on that subscribe button. If you don't, I'm coming to steal your drain plug.